Hello everybody, Michael Mason DeCroze here from Running Shoe Guru. Um, today I'm gonna talk to you about the little brother of the endorphin line. And by little, I mean big. Take a look at this guy. It is the endorphin shift. Um, the endorphin shift is the everyday trainer and recovery runner um, or from the endorphin line. The endorphin line, remember, has three different levels. It has the shift right here. Above that is the speed and then the pro, which is the race day flat. Um, the shift was designed to pretty much take the brunt of most of your training. Uh, it's supposed to log all the long miles, um, the recovery miles after you did your speed training um, the day before and, and get you ready for race day. And one thing that I really noticed when I was in the shoe is that it complements the speed at least incredibly well. You can see that they were designed to go together with each other. They use kind of the same technology when it comes to the actual design and shape of the shoe. Um, if you take a look at the sole right here, the sole unit, you'll see that it uh, has a severe upturn, which is Saucony's technology for uh, the speed roll, which is something that is included in all of the endorphin lines. That speed roll is just a very aggressive turn to help you to kind of roll through your, your, your gait and through your toe off um, so that you can push yourself forward. What I noticed when it came to the shift is that the shift itself had tons of cushion. It's a different type of cushion. Um, it's not using the power R that is in the endorphin uh, speed or uh, in the pro, um, but instead it's using uh, just the power run from from Saucony in this case. It's it's slightly firmer when it comes to the actual cushion on it, but that is okay because there's just so much cushion under your foot. I logged runs of 12, 13 miles, no problems whatsoever in this. Not only that, but because of the speed roll and because of the feel, I actually was going a little bit faster than I thought I would go when it came to my recovery runs and my longer runs. Not that I was breaking any land speed records, but uh, it was pushing me around at, at a decent clip. Um, it was not a slow shoe by any mean, even though it's a heavier shoe with a lot of cushion. Um, if you look at the actual shoe itself compared to the speeds and the pros, this has a lot more overlays, a lot more design. Um, the heel cup right back here is, is way more pronounced and it's a little bit heavier. You have uh, heavier materials for the tongue and, and even just the whole jacket. But then if you look down here on the actual sole plate, um, you'll notice that it has even less rubber than the speeds do. And partially on, on a design point so that they can be a little bit lighter weight than what they were originally going to be. Uh, this cuts down a little bit. It's one of my big gripes though. I, I love this shoe. I think it was great. I loved running in it. I'm, I'm logging tons of miles in it. I've already got over 175 miles on this pair uh, and they're holding up just fine. But I do wish that it had a little bit more uh, traction control when it came to the actual sole plate itself. It's it's my big gripe when it comes to the endorphins from what I've tried. And that's the speeds, that's these guys. Um, I'm not sure about the pros, I have not run in those, but what I've seen is, is it could use just slightly more traction. And especially in this shoe, it's already a heavy shoe. My size 13 right here came in at about 11 ounces. Um, which is fairly hefty for a shoe anymore. Um, if you would have put a little bit more grip on the bottom, I, I really don't think that extra weight would have mattered too much. And I, and I wish Saucony would have done that, uh, just because there are a couple of times when I went out on runs where uh, the cement was a little wet and I felt just a little bit of give. It wasn't a ton. It wasn't anything where I felt like I was in danger, but uh, just that, that security of mind that I wish I could have gotten. Um, uh, just a little bit more. So that, that downgraded it just a little bit. But other than that, I, I absolutely loved running in these shoes. They were, they were quick, 
They had tons of cushion. They were ready to log as many miles as I wanted to log. And at $140 for a maximal trainer like this is actually cheaper than most of the other brands out there. Uh, it's even cheaper than Saucony's own, what the, the Triumphs, uh, the 18s, which are a phenomenal shoe in and of themselves. But if I have to choose one of these two, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for the, the shifts every single time. Uh, I think it has more to offer and it's at a lower price point. If you're looking for a, a maximal cushion um, everyday trainer and, and something that will log a ton of miles for you, you should really take a look at the, the Saucony Endorphin shifts. These are uh, a great pair of shoes.